Hello, darklings. Hello, everyone. We haven't had vape mail. No, this was handed to us personally. At the Knots meet. Yeah, the Knots plant of the vapes meet. Yes. This is a second, it was, I wouldn't say a second hand unit. We've had to borrow it because we couldn't get hold of one ourselves. No. There's a very, very long waiting list. And I sort of said, ooh, can I have a look? But you wouldn't know what it is, don't you? Yeah. Actually, you probably already know what it is because you'll have seen the title, but <laughs> it's one of these. It's the billet box. Yes. From Andy M. Andy M. Where do you get it from? Uh, billet, billet box vapor incorporated. <laughs> <laughs> and there's there, the tone. There yeah. you go. <laughs> right then, billetboxvapor.com. Yes. And vapor is spelled the American way. It'll be on the bottom. But we've had it. I'll just give it a little bit of a polish to bring yeah. it up sparkly. <clears throat> I mean, again. obviously, it's not brand new. Yeah. But it's still. It's solid. It is solid. I mean, one of the things I, I looked at when I saw this was, was actually you, looking how do you at you open this, it? <laughs> looking at this, you know, I'll get it as close as I can. Can you see any joints? Well, you can, but you've got to look very hard for it. It actually looks like one piece. A solid lump of metal. And that's how it's been made to a certain extent, isn't it? Yeah. The reason for the word using the word billet is that a billet is a chunk of metal, aluminium, stainless steel aluminium, that has been routed out. It, it's not been melted and forged, it's not been bolted together. That started off as one solid piece of metal and he's routed inside and or cut alley. pieces yeah. or alley and he's, he's done all the cutting and everything. Now, a lot of machining yeah. and a lot, lot of love gone into, yeah, into so that. Yeah, so here we are. A lot show of thought. The, show you the front. Front. Button. Andy can use this button. Yeah. Yes, it's not a clicky button. It, there is a little... Yeah, that'll yeah, just be the contacts. Yeah, you can feel the contacts, that's about all. You know, where, by a clicky button, when you press it in, it doesn't go click on, click no, on. No, so it's click. not a clicky it's button. A, yeah. You've got to keep your thumb on it when you're vaping. You've got some air holes at the back there. Nothing on that side, no. nothing on the bottom, and you've got a brass. Yeah, it is brass. Widget. Widget. <laughs> Thingy. Whatever. Circle on the top. That, that, that's what that provides is, the ground that pass. That is where. That's where your. Yeah. Tips, no, we've got tips, tips go in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now to actually get into it. Where is that seam? That's the proper drip tip for That's it. That's the proper drip tip. You can just, I don't know if this camera will catch it, there is a very tiny, you'll just, you might just see the edge of the seam there. There's one on the other side. All you do is slide down. That's the top half there. And there's your, the rest of it. Now I'll show you the back of this first. Here we go. Now, what you have in the centre here, just under my finger, is a groove. It is a cut, it is a pre-cut groove with a resting hole there. That's for a ball bearing, I'll show you that on the rest of the box in a minute. And inside is the, it's engraved and blacked to make it all nice and uh, clear. This is revision 1.1. Yes, this is one of the first ones. There's an awfully big waiting list for these. Now at the time of this video, uh, which is just into July, I think it's the second today, possibly, I'm not opening up the bottom, um, they have shipped out and they shipped out on the 30th so hopefully the second batch which everybody's been waiting for uh, should be arriving on your doorstep. Um, it is very well machined, as I said there's a lot of love, there's a lot of thought gone into this. Mm -hmm. um, so it's very well engineered. Right, show them what what they're seeing, what they're looking at. Well, they're looking at a, a, a monitor, hopefully. But on that monitor, you will see us displaying something like this. <laughs> You've got a little square around your so, head. Okay, you know that. Then. I right, need so a pointer. Let's get that in close. Let's get a pointer. Like you can see the black circular thing here. There. Up there. Yeah, is actually your voltage selectors. Yeah. The, it isn't just coloured, painted, it is actually 
grooved again. Yes, so it's raised. So you can grip it when you turn yeah. it with your finger. And it uses the Roman numeral. Yeah, that way you don't mistake a... Yeah. Is there a 6 or a 9 on there? There isn't, is no, it? No, it will be. It would be uh, 4 to 5. Yeah, 4 to 5.5 5 volt on that one. Yeah. So you can set it and you, as you, you want it. And even I can it. turn that. It is a little difficult for me, but I can turn that. I can that. turn it dead easy. It's just yes. a case of sticky thumb on quick twiddle. Now this takes twin batteries. Which are? He always gets me like this. I, I don't do. know. Yeah. Sixteen three forties. There you go. <laughs> Two three point seven volts. Yeah. Sixteen three forty batteries. Yeah, which are obviously down the bottom there. You can see you have your air holes there, and which? they match with your air holes there. Okay, yeah. so you've got continuity on that one for a good airflow going round. Um, the tank itself. Is removed now in in the in the states evidently you have to find me uh -huh. it's moved somebody's nicked my money yes i'll go and find some more you talk you talk about other stuff there it is here we ah. go right in the states it yeah in the states they say a quarter to undo these to, to to actually get the tank out in the uk a 10p piece fits in there just nicely you just unscrew it just like that now hopefully it will be enough you have to. You don't unscrew it so it comes all the way out. out. No. Give it a little tap, and out comes your the tank. tank. Now, this is started off again like like the bullet box. It started off life as a solid block of Darling. Acryl acrylic or something like mm. that, I believe, with a, uh, a clear front screwed on, little tiny screws, and a clear acrylic front with a silicon seal. Yep. What else is novel about this? Um, the little black bit there, that is a seal. Ooh, I'm throwing things. You watch out. You do realise that you are quite dangerous, don't you? Yeah. That just gently, I've got to try and you, it pushes in ever so slightly. And that now is. I don't actually recommend a 20 gauge needle. Um, to fill it. That's yeah. how you fill it. You push the needle through mm. that hole, slightly at an angle, and fills it. You can also fill through the top as well, if you don't want to do it that way. Mm. But, uh, okay. That's a different way. Now you'll see, on the inside there, uh, the brass ring there, as, as I said, it is part of your contact par path in order for a connection. Oh, and the reason for that is, look at the bottom of the box there. I really have got to get my second camera set up. Uh, you can see the Icato sits on there so it, it doesn't actually screw in uh, and that when you screw down with a tank in place helps to keep everything nice and tight and a good conductivity dun 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 take yep. the batteries out now the batteries on these are well again it comes down to the engineering of it they, yeah they, they, do they are not going to come out with my lack of thumbnails so give it a whip there you, there you go tap it in that's it. Two you want to show that up now? Again, somebody has really thought this out. Can you see the etching at the base? So the etching again is slightly blacked, and it shows you the polarities of your batteries, which way in they go. Good solid leaf springs. They, those are solid. They're not flimsy. They're not going to break. Yeah. You know. So it means when you put your batteries in, it's going to give a nice, or it should give a nice, resounding click. And just follow yeah. the instructions. Yeah, they're in. They're in, and you saw how much force I had to use to actually get them out. These are not going to <laughs> rattle. No, they're not. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not, not going to fall out accidentally as they do on some mods which you get. Um, as I say, there's an awful lot of, of thought gone into this. Um, now the tank, when you get it, I'll try and do this one, in opposite presentation, just slots in, well, maybe that ain't going to work, <laughs> just like that, so again on your air holes down there, now obviously on this we'll need that out because we're going to put the carto in there, now it does say really lubricate the o-rings before you push the carto through. Okay, so lubricate it with e-juice. Yeah. yeah, and these yeah. are the Bose 2, two ohm so ones, so just put a tiny, tiny drop and smear it yeah yeah okay tiny drop and smear it and that should aid you in pushing it through 
Am I? No, it's not no, that. No, no, Which way round? You had it, it right the first one. That goes in that way. Yeah, that's at the bottom. Your air hole oh, line yeah, okay. is at the bottom. Uh, and line it up there. Does it? And just push oh, it through. And it stops. Yep. That that's solid. There it won't go any further. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So it looks like that. Yeah. So it's still proud at the bottom. Still proud at the bottom. A little bit proud at the top. There we go. I haven't done this before, can't you tell? Um, oh, yeah, there we go. That pops in. You might need to unscrew that bit just a bit more. Oh, okay. Or push that in a teeny bit. Yep. See? We're... There, goes. there we are. Pop straight right. in. There we are. It's popped straight in. Now the 10p. Did it be, did it be? 10p is good. The 10 pence all day quarter comes in handy don't know what the euro equivalent would be yeah right here we go that's tight and i'm just a snug just, just, just giving a little it. yeah just don't a over touch it. more that's all just a touch clean it up because i've got liquid everywhere hmm. now we now got to fill it okay so to, to do that we've got a syringe now some pe a lot of people don't like. Oh, I'll stop waving it in front of his face. Please. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people don't like the idea of having syringes to hand, and in some ways, when you're out and about and you want to top it up, you don't want yeah. to be flashing a syringe. So in that situation, whip the tank out, push the carto down a bit, and fill it to the side. Yes. But because it's got the filler widget, and we're adults and know what we're doing with syringes. <laughs> Yeah, right. We've got it's a chunky, chunky syringe. We haven't got the it's chunky the things that are recommended. I don't know. Is that rubber? Yeah, yeah. I don't push want, it I down. Don't want to just, just push it down. Here we go. Push. Ah, okay. Right. There you, are. you can see that. No. Mm. Ah, there you are. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit exaggerated, but can you see where I've managed the uh, little ball bearing? Yeah. The black ball bearing has gone inwards. It's spring loaded and the syringe, the needle is now in the tank. Here we go. Okay, so let's fill her up. Gloop, 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 gloop. Yeah. That's, a, that's a two and a half mil syringe. Yeah, and it's didn't not make much of an input. How much bit. more have you got in there? Maybe uh, I'll use it. Okay, we'll use it then. Yes, suck it out. Push it in. A bit dubious about doing this. It doesn't sort of feel right. Uh, feels as if I might punch or something, but that was another. Yeah, so that's at least three and a half mil in there. Yeah, if you're going to fill this up for the day, that'll last you. Well, well, it last it last, it last yeah. people who only vape six mil a day. Right, there we go. Slide the back on. Yeah, there we go. It's slid up there nice and easy. Now the ball bearing, that's the ball bearing I was speaking about, the ball bearing there. That comes into play, makes it quite tight now, and then a click, and it's in place. And you have your nice solid box again. There you go. Right. Time to try it out. Put a drip, drip tip in of your choice, and for this one, obviously we'll use the one that Andy M was using with it and it's ready to go now what was she set at oh we don't know um, now your marks at the top there so it's 2.5 this goes opposite presentation so usually you go right to increase the vol uh, to increase the voltage left to decrease it this is opposite uh, so going clockwise is going to actually That's decrease five, five point six. Oh yeah, 4.75, 4. Yeah. 4. 4. yeah, so you have 4.25 there. Yeah, so we're going 4.25 because I usually vape at about 4.2 anyway, 4 to 4.2. I'm a worse. I used to have like 6 volts, but I don't anymore. Let's give it a go. Well, you can hold it easy, even with your handling problems. Lovely. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is. Well, yeah. Uh, just backtracking slightly there. Yes, I can hold this one easy. It's with most of the Bob mo box mods out there. Even um, e either the the plastic 
or the wood they tend to be either over over width or over thickness yes uh, and with the plastic ones you have the added kind of downside on that as well as you have movement on the on the plastic so it's giving because it's usually very thin battery boxes or converted uh, power boxes which they do them from um, on this you don't have that it is a good sturdy mm. easy to hold mod it's you know you you can you can drop that you saw the way the batteries were in there you, you could drop it and yes okay you're going to scratch it uh, you may give it a little a little dink or, or stuff like that but i very much doubt it's going to go break you know which you certainly might stand a very good chance of with the uh with the plastic mods uh, and with the wood mods obviously again depending on how it's made It'll it, it, it could, it will, crack, it could or crack or, or you know the backs pop off or whatever with this I don't think you're gonna get that because of the amount of, of engineering fineness of tolerances they've actually gone to to make this one complete unit now the downside to it If you're a person who doesn't like cartos, you may not like it. No, because you um, are kind of limited to the cartos on this at the moment. Maybe maybe they'll sort out some kind of adaptation. It's still well, yeah. I mean, if you if you look at it, you know, it is designed to take the tank, the and, the, 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 the tank and the carto. However, I've got a nasty suspicion that some of you, and you know who you are, are already looking at that, thinking, "I reckon Ooh. I could do this, yeah, or do that, or do yes. that." But its full intention is um, to be able to have everything in one in one go, apart from your mouthpiece. It's there, it's ready to go, um, it'll last most people all day. You could even carry a spare tank that's already filled around with you. So that, you know, if you are a heavy vapour, so you've got a spare tank full of a different flavour juice if need be. Yeah. And it's just a quick twiddle with your coin. Pop the tank out, pop the other flavour in, and away you go again. It'll fit. We haven't got any shirts. It will fit in a top pocket. <laughs> it would probably even fit in your back jeans pocket, and you could probably sit on the blasted thing, you know, and wouldn't come to any kind of harm or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, it's it's an amazing feat of engineering that works. Yep. Yeah. How much is it? Juju. Oh dear. Now this is another downside. It is 179 US dollars. Uh, about 150. Yeah, about 150. Depend, depending on the yeah. conversion rates and whatnot. About 150 English pounds. Yeah. And there is a waiting list. You need to go onto the waiting list. Yes, um, there is. Is it a prepay? I don't know. It's a waiting list. So yep. I would presume if you're going to pre-order, you would uh, pay for it up front. Yeah. Usually do. Oh, sorry. It's, it's a pre-order. Um, it is just being made by one man at the moment, and it does take time uh, for a premium bit of kit like this. So, uh, well, I know the last people. This was one of the first um, batch came out. I know the second batch has now gone out a couple of days before we're making this video. Mm -hmm. uh, so hopefully you all have that uh, there. But they were waiting, I, I think, for five months, maybe six months, Ooh, for them to yeah. come through. Yeah. Um, so you know, if you do want one. Get yourself on the list. And I love it. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. One. <laughs> he wants one, but he has to send it back tonight. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, this this goes back uh, tomorrow. I'll probably uh, drop has it anybody got a, Has anybody got one they're willing to sell? <laughs> it's his birthday in September. It's <laughs> actually, in, in fairness, I mean, you know, I have a lot of mods, and I've had a lot of box mods. I've still got uh, two or three. Um, this one I absolutely adore. Not particularly because it's got shiny bits. Or the carbon fibre on the uh, on the front and back, but because it's easy for me to handle. If you have mm. problems with dexterity, the button is easy to handle, and the unit feels good and fits good in your hand, um, which is a very because usually they're these big raised buttons and mm. massive LEDs that could land aircraft from 50 miles away, uh, that sort of thing. This isn't that. This is pure functional love really there's a lot of love gone into this mm -hmm. yeah I, I like it for that for the fact I, I don't I'm not one for flash and fancy and I'm not one mm. for shiny I do occasionally like the occasional shiny but you notice I've I only ever wear 
the one necklace I only ever have the one ring on my hand I've got the one watch I'm not one for fripperies and whatnot I do like something that's compact does its job doesn't scream um, bling bling at you yeah this one is mm. neat tidy does the job and it is very very well made yes um, now you can get spare tanks I'm not sure if there's a waiting list on the tanks, uh, but they're about $15 <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, for those, and uh, you can get like, the kits, I believe, which come out with the uh, with the pre-punch cartos on there. I don't have that bit to hang because really we're looking at this, uh, but I would like to say a very big thank you to Andy M from Planet of the Vapes for actually allowing me to, <laughs> to take this one back. It was quite a bit of a shock, yeah. <laughs> and uh, this will be winging its way back, sadly. But happily for him, sadly for us. Yeah. Uh, back to his uh, loving embrace. <laughs> Later on today. Later on today. Um, but that's about it on this one. Yeah. As, so do you want to said, say the goodbyes this time? Okay. As said, we both love it. Yeah. It is a really nice piece of kit. Uh, that's it from us, Julian and Andy from the Vapor Miss. Um, if you like what you're seeing, subscribe, please. Yeah. Catch, us, catch him on Twitter. I'm not on Twitter, no, no, I'm afraid. No, no. It's Twitter. 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 We're in English. <laughs> catch us on Twitter. Uh, Vapor Mists, obviously. And uh, if you have any questions, rather than stick them on YouTube, nip over to planetofthevapes.com. Um, no, don't. Nip over to planetofthevapes.co.uk. That's very the one. Sorry, very <laughs> sorry. And um, pop onto the forums and ask your questions. Join in the chat. Have yeah, a good time. that's any questions at all related to e-cigarettes. Okay. There's a wealth of information there to help uh, both new users and the veterans. Um, you you can get answers a lot quicker that way. Mm. And so okay, so that's it. Yep. Bye. She's got a good shake, isn't she? <laughs> Bye. <laughs>